Greetings, viewers. Prepare for a journey into a universe where legends and tall tales come to life. In this realm, unexpected answers to historical mysteries await discovery. Picture a peculiar region, once home to the mighty Euphrates River. Suddenly, something extraordinary emerges from the now parched riverbank, a sight so mesmerizing that even the most learned individuals struggle to find adequate words to describe it. Welcome to Unexplained History. Brace yourselves for an unforgettable exploration as we delve into the enigmatic Golden Mountains, born from the dried-up course of the Euphrates River. You're in for a spectacle beyond belief. Let's begin. Over the past decade, the Middle East has experienced a rapid decline in freshwater resources, notably impacting the once mighty Euphrates, once the largest river in Western Asia. Recent data reveals a troubling reality. The Tigris-Euphrates Basin, spanning parts of Turkey, Syria, Iraq, and Iran, faces an escalating dry spell. The region, already parched, is growing even drier due to heightened water consumption for agricultural and domestic needs. A comprehensive study of the Tigris and Euphrates River basins uncovered alarming findings. Between 2003 and 2009, a staggering 144 cubic kilometers of freshwater vanished, equivalent to the size of the Dead Sea. The primary culprit behind 60% of this loss was the excessive extraction of groundwater from underground aquifers. During droughts when surface water diminishes, reliance on groundwater for irrigation and other purposes intensifies. Around 3000 BC, the flourishing civilization of Sumer found its lifeblood in the waters of the Euphrates, nurturing cities such as Mary, Sippar, Nippur, Shurapak, Uruk, Ur, and Eridu along its fertile banks. This vital river stems from the convergence of the Kara and Murat rivers, the Kara originating from the Armenian highlands north of Erzurum in eastern Turkey, while the Murat flows from the southwest of Mount Ararat and north of Lake Van. Carking its path southeastward, the upper Euphrates courses through Syria and Iraq, winding through steep cliffs and gorges. In eastern Syria, the Euphrates is fed by the Kabir and Balak rivers, both originating in Turkey. Downstream, no additional water sources contribute to the Euphrates. The river and the Tigris merge to form the Arvan slash Shatal Arab north of Basra in southern Iraq, ultimately flowing into the Persian Gulf. The marshlands surrounding Basra owe their existence to the river's branching channels. However, Saddam Hussein's regime drained most of these marshes in the 1990s in a bid to quell Marsh Arab rebellion. Although drainage policies shifted post the 2003 Iraq invasion, the future recovery of the marshes remains uncertain. Navigable only by shallow draft boats, the Euphrates allows passage up to Hit, Iraq, spanning 1,930 kilometers upstream and sitting 53 meters above sea level. However, rocky terrains and rapids impede commercial navigation beyond Hit, the mountainous regions of northeastern Turkey witness annual flooding due to snow melting, although the construction of dams and reservoirs in the upper reaches has mitigated these floods. A navigable channel spanning 885 kilometers connects the Euphrates and Tigris, facilitating riverboat travel. J. Famigliati's analysis, based on GRACE data, underscores a distressing reality. The Tigris and Euphrates river basins are witnessing an alarming depletion of groundwater storage, ranking as the second fastest rate globally after India. Particularly following the 2007 drought, this depletion accelerated, while the demand for freshwater continues to rise. Unfortunately, the region's water management lacks coordination due to differing interpretations of international laws, exacerbating the crisis. Forebodingly, Famiglietti suggests an ominous future for the Euphrates, predicting that its decline may unveil treasures, sparking conflict, and potentially revealing a fabled gold mountain that must remain untouched. The relentless decline of the Euphrates is exacerbated by hydroelectric projects in Turkey and Iran, obstructing the flow of these historic rivers that have sustained this vital waterways. 
Climate change compounds the region's challenges, with projections indicating a potential 15 to 20 percent decrease in Iraq's precipitation over this century, leading to a daunting reduction of up to 73 percent in the Tigris and Euphrates waters. The repercussions are dire. Low water levels are contaminating barley and wheat farms in river deltas, while Persian Gulf tides, encroaching due to decreased river flow, imperil livelihoods, causing losses for farmers and leading to the demise of cattle. The influx of displaced individuals into cities compounds the crisis, complicating efforts to gather accurate data on displacement. Ultimately, the precarious state of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers paints a grim picture threatening the livelihoods and well-being of those reliant on these historic water sources. Growing social tensions between urban residents and rural migrants have surfaced in Basra, Iraq, as refugees seeking employment have constructed makeshift settlements on the city's outskirts. Many newcomers struggle to adapt to temporary job opportunities, such as truck driving or construction, which may not align with their long-term needs. This influx has led Basra's locals to believe that migrants strain public resources, bring about criminal activities, and introduce customs that clash with their own. Compounding the issue, municipal authorities have been hesitant to fully integrate these newcomers, exacerbating tensions. Additionally, the encroaching salinity from the Gulf of Mexico has rendered 85 miles of riverbank barren, hinting at an impending environmental disaster in southern Iraq. Experts warn that this crisis may serve as a grim precursor to future calamities. Further afield, aid agencies paint a dire picture, projecting that 12 million Iraqis and Syrians could face severe shortages of food, water, and energy in the coming months. Egypt, grappling with a refugee crisis more severe than Iraq's due to its larger population, faces potential upheaval as Ethiopia and Sudan finalize a massive hydroelectric project on a Nile tributary. Scientific surveys conducted in Egypt suggest that this project could devastate 75% of the country's fish farms, displacing up to 30 million people and potentially igniting the world's largest refugee crisis. Even if the project were halted, Egypt would still confront challenges of population growth and environmental aridity common to the region. While negotiating water-sharing agreements might mitigate immediate catastrophes, addressing these issues demands more than regional cooperation. Despite the dominance of conflicts and elections in the news cycle, the global economy continues to heavily rely on fossil fuels like oil and natural gas, leaving a diminishing window of opportunity for meaningful change. That's it for today. We hope this amazing find touches you as much as it did us. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please share our video and press the bell icon for more updates.